Welcome back everyone my name is Abdullah Ghori and in this video I will show you how you can add font awesome icons in your web page. In this video I will show you two methods of adding font awesome icon in your web page. The very first method will be adding the font awesome using the zip file. So we will download a font awesome zip file and we will add it into our project. Another method is using the CDN link of font awesome icon. Now what we need to do in the second method we just need to create a font awesome account and then they will provide us a link that we can add in our project and we are good to go to use font awesome icon so without any further delay let's get started so first of all you need to open up your chrome browser or any of your favorite browser and then here you have to type font awesome then you will click on the font awesome website link now here you can see a download button so you need to click on this one scroll down scroll down so we will come here you can see free for web so now we can download the font awesome which is free version okay now there are two things available first for web and another for desktop because we are adding it in our web page so we will use web if you are adding it in your desktop applications or other apps you can use this one now there are two version free and pro if you want to pay you can use pro version and if you want to use freely available icons then you can use free for web version now in the pro version obviously you will have a lot more collections of icons but we will go with the free version for now so I will click on this free for web and you can see it will download the font awesome for us now I will go in our downloads folder and here you can see I have downloaded the font awesome icon for now I will copy them from here I will go in our web designing course folder and I will paste right here I will extract all of the font awesome icon here okay so after extracting them you will see this folder so I will close this one for now I can delete the zip file now we got our font awesome in our web designing course folder okay now the next step will be we just need to right click here and open this folder with code or you can manually open your any code editor in this case I am using VS code editor I will click here and you can see we have we are in the web designing course folder and there is font awesome so I will click here on a new file and I will create a file called index.html Now here I will add the basic code with the help of exclamation mark and if I hit enter it will give us the whole basic code. Here I will type font awesome. Now here I will open up this web page and you can see we just got the title okay. Now we have to add the icon right here. So I will go in the VS code and here what we need to do we just need to link our font awesome with our HTML web page. So I will type link if I hit enter it will give us this basic code now here we have to type font awesome hit enter again there is another font awesome folder hit enter and in the font awesome you can see there is CSS and you just need to include all dot main dot CSS save it and let me show you if you go in font awesome there is another font awesome so you click on here CSS and all dot main dot CSS we will come here now every time you will add any font awesome icon we will use I take for that and here you just need to include a class for the icon name so I will say class and let's add a very basic and very simple icon which is FA FA home if I save it if I go in the browser refresh it you can see we got a home icon now you may wonder how you will know the names of the icon there are thousands of icons available but there is a simpler and easy way to search these icons. you just need to come here and search them now if I type HTML if I hit enter now you can see HTML5 and you can also make sure that you are only viewing the free version okay if you want to add this icon in your web page you will click on this icon and it will show you the actual code that you need to add in your web page so you can click on here you can go back 
and you can paste the code right here go back and if i refresh it you can see we got this html5 icon as well now let's talk about the second method how you can add the icon with the help of cdn link and after that i will show you some styling tips and tricks that you can use for these icons so if i remove this link you can see if i refresh it there is nothing now let's use the cdn farm so i will go on fontawesome.com and here you can see there is an option of start for free click on this option here you have to add your email address after adding your email address you just need to click send kit code and then they will send a verification email in your gmail account you will get a confirmation email so open up this email and just click on click to confirm your email address plus set things up and as soon as you click on this link you will get this so you just need to set up your password and you just need to click on set password and after that you will see this message we can say no thanks let's skip this step for now and after that you will get this code so this is the code that we need in our web page so you can copy this kit code you can go in your project file you can add it in your head section if i save this now and go back in the browser and if i refresh it again you can see the icons are big now let's talk about the styling the styling will be same for both of the ways now if you want to make your icon to look more big you can say fa dash then 2x it means if i refresh it your icon will be two times more bigger even you can go and you can add 5x out there your icon is more bigger another thing is that you can add some css styling let me cut this styling here and put it here now what we will do we will just increase the size of the html5 icon with the help of css so what you can do you can say font size and 100 pixel if i refresh it you can see the icon size is increased you need to say font size okay this is the same as your font so actually you can apply all the font properties on it as well now you can say color blue violet something like this so if i refresh it the color of your icon will be blue violet even you can change the background color to tomato if you go back you can see the background color change also okay now that's how you can add the styling to your icons as well now that's all from this video hope you enjoy this video if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe our channel for more videos like this thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video